Hi, and welcome to the weekly financial modeling tips by the Startup Station. Now we're going to learn how to calculate customer service costs, right? And in this case, we're going to uh, do it uh, when they are provided by third party. This is a very common case these days where you have a provider such as Zendesk, and then you need to calculate how much you uh, can pay them or how much you're estimating to pay them. So what you need to know is the number of customers you're going to have, years one to five. This will come from your go-to-market strategies and the conversion to customer logic based on your business model. Then you need to estimate which percentage of customers is going to need customer service each month. Typically, it would be uh, a percentage that is accepted by your industry. And then you can adjust it uh, based on whether or not you consider your service to be more or less complex. And finally, cost per interaction, which you can get when you get a quote from a third party provider and then maybe average them out because you don't have to make a decision of who you're going to hire at the point of making financial projections. Okay, so let's see how we can calculate customer service costs. Here, we're going to assume that 5% of users are going to use customer service every month and it costs $3 per interaction every time they use it. Right, so what is the input to the model here is that we are going to calculate how many new customers we have, right? So the first step is to calculate how many customers we have in total, right? And so for the first month, it's going to be the number of new customers, and then it's going to be uh, however many customers we have from the previous month plus the number of new customers. Okay, and just piece that formula forward. Uh, now we have to calculate how many users will need um, customer service. So we're going to use a floor function. Actually, uh, for the cost, we should use the ceiling function because it's more conservative to assume higher costs. And for revenues, we can use a floor function uh, because it's good to assume a lower conversion to be conservative. So we're going to take the number of customers. Okay, and we're going to multiply that by 5%, anchor that, and round it up, right? and then paste that forward. And the customer service costs are simply going to be the number of users needing the customer service times the cost for interaction. As you can see in this example, the customer service costs are not significant, they're only $9,000.120, right? However, this of course may change based on your customer base. And there we go. Please, if you like this video, share with your friends, comment below. And to learn more, sign up to our YouTube channel and to learn how to model uh, your startup and create credible financials and accelerate your funding process, sign up for our free masterclass, build credible financials for your venture. The link is in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.